What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video here, we're doing a stock analysis on Airbnb. This is requested by Ryan. You want to see a company analyzed? Write it down in the comment section below. So jumping in, loading this up in the stock research tool. This is a fairly new business. Now here's one thing that I put in my investing process is I like looking at companies that are five years, that have been on the market for at least five years, because the software will have enough data to grade this company and it helps in the overall scheme of things in terms of getting a fair evaluation and it helps knowing what the company can do now with airbnb we've hit a high of 200 and 212 dollars in the last 52 weeks we're currently at 110 dollars so another company that has been falling down ever so slightly so with our analysis here we're going to look at three different things our company metrics category which analyzes and looks at the five-year averages of the business and compares it to the trailing 12 months our financial valuations section here which grades the company's balance sheets income statements and cash flow statements and finally last but not least oops let me clear these numbers out those are from another analysis this price analysis section here is where we will find the intrinsic value of airbnb and what we should be paying it for today to in order to get our return for tomorrow so with airbnb i'm going to look at some things that stick out to me and one of those things are the improvement that we're making in our eps it's i'm happy 1.29 is pretty good i'm, I'm loving that considering our, our average has been in the negatives we don't have enough data to get our five-year pe average so currently is at 87 which is very high it's astronomically high but return on equity is up our profit margin is positive which is great okay so you know what this is good to see I'm happy with what we're showing what we're being, currently being shown here we're trying to invest the capital is up from a negative number here a decent almond Z score sitting at 3.58 actually that's pretty healthy we want this number over three and we have it no problem and a Petrovsky score is sitting at seven five-year free cash flow sitting at four uh, at 450 million dollars and currently it's at 2.87 billion dollars so let me jump into the cash flow statement real quick here folks and see what's actually going on with this company so yeah we've 2017 and then we jumped up in 2018 then jumped down 2019 obviously 2020 this is where things got got hit bad with the pandemic, so that makes sense. But now jumping back up to two six two point sixteen billion dollars, that is healthy, and we love what we're seeing here, folks. So that's good to see. Okay, so obviously this is a company that's been hit by the pandemic. So, but it rallied pretty hard twenty twenty one in the beginning, and then it's just got hit and now 2022 has just been on this decline which is interesting because our free cash flow has gone up and everything's kind of shown in a more positive direction oh well jumping into our financial valuations folks uh grading this company a four out of ten uh not too thrilled about this so here's the issues that i have with this business i'm going to go through all the little red sections before going into the green obviously our five-year pe ratio we don't have because the company's been fairly new so it's a zero but it's not enough data to show return on equity average has it's been low even though we're showing that it's up on average it's been not healthy eps is also been negative even though we're showing that it's up in the 12 months on average it's been a terrible number share dilution here's a major problem that i'm seeing and is that they've been issuing out so many more shares over the last little while that they've been public and uh i mean they haven't been public for long but my god that's a lot of shares that are being issued out listen you know what they're trying to raise equity for the business so i understand and we have had a jump up in price in this company so it makes sense that people are probably buying up the shares and it's evident here in our debt to equity saying uh, considering it's lower than 50 percent um our free cash flow sorry our net income is is low as well and our return on invested capital is negative 30 we want to see this number 10 percent or higher folks we don't have it so a lot of red flags here with airbnb however the green flags are comforting we have a decent current ratio currently sitting at 1.61 that means they have enough assets on hand to cover the liabilities so that's great as i said earlier our debt to equity is below 50 percent 
That means they're building the business through equity and not taking on debt. And as we head into a recession where it's going to be harder to borrow money and borrow from creditors, this is great. However, the only caveat to that is that they've been issuing out more shares. So it's not great for you, a shareholder, because now you own less of this business. However, our free cash flow has gone up by an incredible amount over the last five years, as we've discussed prior, and our revenue growth has been going up. So that's good. They are on the right track. They are on the right track. I can't say I'm too thrilled about this business. And, and this is one of those businesses that I'm going to put on the probably in the back of my mind to look at it, you know, maybe further down the line when I have more information, because currently where it stands right now, I'm kind of putting it in the camp of they're in the right direction. They haven't shown enough yet because I want to see what they can do. So this is something I'm going to probably wait on. However, with that being said, we will do a price analysis as I discussed. So what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to do a 10 year analysis. I'm going to fill out these boxes and looking at the historical data of this business and try to price out what we should be paying for this company today. So stay tuned while I fill these boxes out. Okay, guys, so here is what I did. And before we jump into the price analysis, if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that like button, that subscribe button as well. And if you want to get your hands on this software here, make sure you follow along. It's going to be available to you, my viewers and subscribers. So stay tuned for that. So jumping in, I filled out these boxes here. And what I did was to give myself a decent margin of safety. I discounted our revenue growth. I don't think it makes sense for them to grow 40% a year over the next 10 years. So I've done 20, 25 and 30, 30 being very, very lenient. And uh, with that in mind, it was hard to try to choose a profit margin. However, based off the trillion 12 months profit margin, uh, I decided to go with that, putting it aggressive as 12% and going five and eight on the conservative and moderate side, considering if they're going to hit that year over year. So some speculation involved. Free cash flow margin, same thing. I stuck to the five year number that we've been given. So I did seven, seven and a half and eight, hoping that they can hit those numbers again. And price of free cash flow, I'm done 14, 16 and 18, making sure that we're under 20. And a PE ratio, same thing, 14, 16 and 18. Desired return, 13%. As always, lucky number 13. I don't have high hopes for this business, to be frank with you. But just because it's such a, a new company and I am speculating something that I don't like doing. But if you're new to the channel, you know, I like to try to stay conservative as possible because margin of safety is the name of the game. We want to buy businesses at good, a great, we want to buy great businesses at great prices, folks. So if the price makes sense, it's one thing. And with Airbnb, it's not looking so Current price is $110 and the average price comes out to $97. Huge jumps from our moderate to aggressive, but granted, we've done skips and bounds in terms of our profit margin and our revenue growth numbers, so that makes sense. But our moderate average is 84 and our conservative is 39. I'm leaning towards these numbers over here, folks, just because we need more consistency in our profit margin. I don't like seeing negative numbers. So this 12%, I, I can't assume it's going to hit that over the next 10 years. So I got to assume something lower in hopes, folks. And that's the whole thing, folks, in hopes that they beat my expectations as well as low revenue growth numbers. So where do I currently stand on Airbnb? Ultimately, I believe it's overvalued, but I like the process. I like the business model. It just needs to stay on the market a little bit longer so we have a better understanding of what this company is actually doing currently i don't think it's it's no i stand by my statement it's 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 overvalued and it's just a, a new company that i would personally stay away from until it sh can show me in the next five years what they're capable of and how the management runs this business i think jumping into it now you're in spec you might be too early overpaying for it and just in, in a realm of speculation and you're not investing. That's my opinion. So Ryan, to answer your question, what do I, if you're thinking about buying Airbnb, if you own Airbnb stock, write down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. But where I currently stand, I stand now is simply just that. It's a brand new company. They are heading in the right direction though. I gotta say, I, 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 I love that the revenue growth is up. I love that the free cash flow growth is up. The net income 
needs to go up as well but I need more green over here and more consistency and and uh, I need this I need this to show I, I I just need a lot more positive numbers to be shown on the board here so I'm not speculating as much and for me to actually gauge what this company can actually do because it's just too new for me so with that in mind folks that's the video as I said, software is coming out. Write down a, a company you want to see evaluated. Share this video with a friend who is looking to potentially invest into Airbnb. My process is strictly fundo, fundamentally based in um, the Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett ideology of buying companies and buying stocks. I'm a value investor. We are not a pump and dump channel. So if you like that video and like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and follow for more videos coming out Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I'll see you in the next one.